This is the episode that's supposed to break me apart. Everybody says I don't give a shit. I don't get I don't cry for children's cartoons, but apparently everyone that said that broke down and cried in this episode. Last two episodes, what were the titles? I will not cry. I still did not cry. <laughs> You know why that was the case? So that the final video is gonna be called I Cried and it's gonna be hilarious. Let's begin today's reaction. But it's not a good thing. I mean, I guess that's just losing the sister that you knew for the last couple of years. But that's also a good thing because you got the sister you got lost many years ago, right? Oh, that just happened that you're back? Kind of? I want this, I'm just wondering how the mom is doing because she said that she went crazy, right? It's so crazy hearing Kaida's voice like this because you know the Kaida we knew so far was such a high-pitched and energetic voice but this one just like chill. Just... Damn, Sakata's going through it. I guess losing the Kaida that you've kind of built up these last couple of years trying to help her out, the fact that she's gone it's really breaking him down, huh? He put the fucking yearly pass! Exactly! It cost so much money! But... But... Can we still do these things together? Maybe she doesn't like pandas as much, but... I'm conflicted, because we did lose that second Kaede. But the first Kaede is back. Oh, the mark on his chest. Why is it? Why is it acting up again? Is, are, is that a panda scratch? Wait, what is this? Shoko. 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 Shoko san. What? Why are you back all of a sudden? That claw mark is somehow connected to Kaede's stuff, too. I don't know. Because, like, he got that mark as soon as Kaede just kind of had her shit going on, too. Damn. My man is actually just done. The price is not even in a fetal position, to be honest. It's not even your fault. You did everything you could have. Hey, you fucking disappeared on us, man. Yeah. And even this current Kaede, she still loves you, but he's being way too harsh on himself. But this new one does? Yeah, I feel like he's not accepting this other Kaede. You know what the convenient thing here now is? Because Sakata is such in shock because of Kaede's situation. He won't even ask, where the fuck did you go, Shoko? What, how, what, what, how, how, huh? Where, where did you go? The beach, the letter, I... Whatever. Oh, the diary. Oh, it's her voice again. You can just be your own Kaede, but even now, that Kaede is gone. Is it possible to get the old Kaede back and integrate it with the new Kaede? I don't know, man. No, oh, it's just memory problems. Where does she go? That's such a weird thing. Her entire personality is just gone. It's as if her entire existence, her life, might just will be dead in a sense. Even though Kaede is alive, that side of Kaede, gone. It's kind of scary to think about. She did come back. Mm. Oh, that's why she was like, I'll try my hardest to be the best little sister. Even all the things that I thought were just like fan service, you know? No, that was just her being so... so it was just her being... Her trying her best, man. Oh, this is actually so sad. And then the obsession with pandas. This is how the panda's obsession started, huh? I mean, she always... No, maybe she bought the onesie afterwards. This is the event of season one, all in this diary. Futaba. The Futaba arc. 
And then Shoku Chan. And then Doka Arc. He's not a gigolo. Where did you even learn that word? Regretting it. That he couldn't do more? But, like, he put so much... Uh, what's the word? Blame on himself. Right now. Right now. Oh. Oh, that was all for him. Okay, I get This is getting pretty sad. I can't believe that's why she made all this just for him. This... No, I'm still not gonna cry. This isn't enough to tip me over the edge, but I feel like this is really building towards something, man. Oh, no. Stop. Stop. We got through our checklist, though. Maybe it's the fact that she had a checklist of things to prepare for the transfer. By the time we were done with the checklist, that's what, it's like a condition so that she swapped back, and that was the puberty syndrome. So, in fact, there is no problem. This is the problem being resolved in a very twisted way. And the kaide that we knew is just gone. Because we went to the school at night. Yeah, I can't cry, man. I can't cry either, man. Oh, he's actually crying. It's just so hard to watch male characters break down like this, man. Because you don't see that often. Like, have you ever a situation where you walked in on your dad crying or something and it's it just like fucks with you because this is supposed to be a guy that's supposed to be like the pillar of support. And when you see someone like that break down, it's weird, man. And there's nothing wrong with it, but it's just like, it's hard to see. Shoku's gone. Where? Are you a ghost that just comes and goes wherever you want? I can tell that Sakuta's holding back right now, right? See, Sakuta's acting like everything is fine. Because Sakuta can't break down in front of my eye there. Yeah, are you okay, dude? No. But him talking as if everything is fine, you know it's not fine. You know that Mai is worried. Maybe Mai will diss the shoot and come back. Hmm, will she? Oh, he's so happy to see you. Now, we gotta flex uh, Mai to Kaede while she's here. Hmm? Was that the note from Shoko? That means that observing, you know, Shoko uh, does exist because the letter literally exists. Are you cheating on me? It's a physical trace. Mai has observed it. Shoko exists. Right? You think she'd be actually upset at this? I don't think so. There no shot. No shot. She, maybe she feels a little jealous that she couldn't be here for her and him instead of, uh, you know, that Shoko did. Mm. Did we fuck Did you? Did we fuck Wait, wait, wait. Dude, I thought you're gonna take one. I, I thought you're gonna take it to, tomorrow morning. I, wait, what are you doing? Is she actually so. Ooh, what did we do? I. I can't even hug her! Oh. This is... Unreasonable! I... 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 What the... This isn't the same thing as... Let's say you have a girlfriend and she had a dream that you cheated on her and then she gets all upset. But, you know, like, is it his fault that Shoko just magically showed up to save him? No, but I get that Mai feels kind of jealous and kind of hurt that it couldn't be her. That was their first, you know, 
Sakta? What the fuck? Oh, it's Doka. Okay, but... It's because she... Yeah, and it's just another woman kind of helped him. So she's very upset about that. She's not angry at him. Maybe she's just upset at herself? Yeah? <gasps> it's her birthday! <laughs> it's on Wikipedia, bro. It's on the fucking... On, it's, it's on Wikipedia. We missed it. I mean, oh no, oh, no. we gotta go crash the suit. Let's go crash the suit right now. Yeah, let's take the train. Yeah. Oh my god. It was a fucking birthday. Doka came in clutch though. Yo, what, what about Kaede though? Are, are we done with Kaede then? I, uh, okay, maybe we'll handle that later. We gotta you know, deal with my stuff right now. <laughs> He just threw away his bag to run a little bit faster. I don't know about you, but I feel like that was kind of... <laughs> Whatever, it turned dramatic this way. Mai's right there, behind, behind, behind in the jacket. Maybe in the jacket. She's got that pink phone. Yeah, that's her. It's your birthday, baby girl. You think we'd forget about your birthday? <laughs> yeah, we forgot. Happy birthday. You still got four minutes. <laughs> <laughs> I can't believe because like I, forgetting a girlfriend's birthday is just unforgivable right but like maybe you could argue oh it just slipped my mind or something or maybe in the first time you're dating you wouldn't have for, like, like, like um, known because it's like your first year of dating but the fact that she's an idol and it's fucking registered on Wikipedia online that's oh my god <laughs> give him the jacket give her the jacket Ooh, oh share the jacket even smarter yeah, she's, she's not mad at him. No, it's reasonable. She just kind of upset at herself that she couldn't make him feel good. But like, Shoko really did come in for the kill steal, man. Not even your fault. No, don't. I feel an actual kissing incoming. What I say, actual kissing incoming. Bro, don't fuck this up. Don't fuck this up, bro. He knows. He knows. I close my eyes, but I peek just a little bit, you know? Huh? Am I getting baited? Oh! 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 What the fuck? <laughs> maybe, maybe, maybe it'll still come. Yeah. I mean, yeah. Does this mean that the sad shit was Sakta crying in the bathroom and I didn't cry? Does this mean that I'm a sociopath? Be like... <laughs> what do you mean? What do you mean? You know, what are you, what are you doing? I mean, I feel almost bad because I didn't cry. Because like you guys are saying that like, I'm a fucking monster if I don't cry in this episode. Maybe the moment was in the bathtub of Shoko reading out Kaede's diary. That was sad, but it didn't like tip me over the edge. Everything is good between them. Man, I am a fucking monster. I can't believe I didn't cry this episode. Maybe it's the fact that you guys built it up so much to the point where it's like, it's like an expectation, so I tried my best not to fight the tears. But let me tell you something, all right? Before you judge me as a sociopath, let me tell you something so personal that I probably shouldn't even be telling you this. My mom, I came home one day from college and I saw that my mom was bald and I didn't realize what was going on until she told me that she had cancer. From that moment on, to the point that she died. Every moment that I took her to chemotherapy, every moment when she was in the hospice, to her dying moment, I didn't cry a single time. Do you know why? Because I knew that if I collapsed in front of her, if I cried, I knew the struggles that she was going through, and that would just destroy her even more, that if I showed any type of weakness in front of that. Sakata kind of mentions the same thing in this episode, in the fact that he can't show Kaede crying, because he can't uphold that. When I have such experiences like this, do you think that this fucking children's cartoon is gonna make me cry? Now, Oshinoko did happen. I don't know what the fuck was that ab ab about that episode. I think it's because I was just geared in for like an hour long and it was the death of a mom leaving the children alone. And that's something about that was so cathartic. That moment in the bathtub where Choko was reading out Kaede's diary, that was really sad. 
And Sakata breaking down like that, like I said, it's really hard to see a male character break down because it just doesn't seem right. I'm not saying that it's it shouldn't happen, but it's very hard to watch that, right? So in that sense, what am I trying to get at? I'm saying that I'm a fucking sociopath, dude. I'm a fucking monster. All right, all right. It is what it is. Now about the anime itself. It was really good. I think that for the 12 episodes that we got, every I was kind of baited by the bunny girl part because there was not much bunny girls. And I was even baited because Mai's arc was like the first three episodes and I thought the anime just could have ended there. But we kind of just kept going with like Koga, Futaba, Doka, and, and Kaede at the end. And it was very refreshing because this main character is such a giga chat, you know? Usually, because like the rom-coms we're seeing recently, the main characters, oh my god, they're just fucking flimsy, cardboard, wet fucking paper noodles. And all the girls are like, oh my god! You're so soft and submissive and, and the guy doesn't do anything right but the girl ends up getting him you know why because they're fucking marketing that to the current demographic of people that probably would watch that kind of show so that could be a lot more relatable but goddamn sakuta man he is such a giga set it was such a refreshing show because he was so upfront about everything and my the main heroine of this show fantastic character so based right so reasonable she let us have a girlfriend a pretend girlfriend in the summer Bro, she is actually the best girlfriend ever. This supernatural rom-com show, I think it was a very solid show. I'm very sad that I missed out on it when it first aired, but hey, we're still here. We watched it. I hope you guys enjoyed it as much as I did, and we're going to continue forward with different animes. Hope to see you guys around, but hey, if you're still here, if you didn't enjoy this reaction, please like the video. Check out the other playlist for even more content. And until next time, take care.